Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. This is Parksy and first of all, I'd like to apologize that I haven't uploaded in a whole freaking week. The thing is, or the reason is that I have been working on my startup and it has been killing me. Also, the schedule or the college is just ridiculous. So I am really freaking sorry. I will be trying to upload at least four videos uh, per week. And now the channel hasn't gone inactive and thank you guys for your patience and I am again very very sorry that I haven't uploaded so in this video tutorial we're gonna be covering more of rainbow tables and as you guys remember in the last video tutorial we generated a rainbow table so if you guys don't remember I'm just going to type in okay so this is the f uh, RT gen command that we used it's a rainbow table generator this is the format that the codes will be generated in it is MD5 all of the hashes that will be generated will be in uh, lower alphanumeric and uh, these are the uh, you know parameters that we have passed so if you hit enter I have already made this so this has uh, completed fairly quickly but if you haven't completed it, it would take a lot of time and uh, it actually depends on your machine if you have a good processor it wouldn't take a lot of time so uh, this actually took me 38 minutes so that's actually too much for me <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna clear this out to find rainbow tables you guys can just go locate dot rt because at the very beginning I had a lot of trouble finding them and I used to think that <clears throat> if I have passed oh god if I have passed this command RT gen, uh, I used to think that it would be the rainbow table would be generated in this directory, but that's not the case. But it used to be that way. And if you go CD and type in LS, so these are the number of uh, rainbow tables that I have generated with this machine. So uh, I'm just gonna go and take a look at these and wait up at the locations. Computer user share. If you guys scroll down or just type in rainbow crack, so these are all the rainbow tables that I have generated. So let me see which one is the right one. I barely remember. Nope. All right. So this is the one. I stopped the process a couple of times. That's why I don't remember which one is the right one. And uh, your size of the rainbow table should vary with mine. But mine is 536.9 MB. Some people get 539. I have no idea why because it, these are the same parameters. And uh, so now what we have to do is type in RT sort and the name of the rainbow table obviously so md5 low lower alpha numeric 175 underscore 3800 x 33 uh, 55 44 32 underscore 0 dot rt hit enter this will sort these uh, rainbow tables and let's just wait for it to finish it might take uh, some time for you guys but uh, let's just wait for it to finish all right uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that uh, rainbow tables what it does is that it will sort the rainbow tables from the end point to start point so if you want to sort the rainbow table from start point to end point just uh, uh, sort this parameter in and this is this says that uh, you have to do it through sort uh, no uh, you have to do it through start uh, <laughs> And let's just clear this out and let me minimize this. Or oh, you know what? I'm just gonna delete the rest of them. I don't actually want them here. Oh yes, I am not the pseudo. Uh, I don't want to do RM. <laughs> so uh, let's just clear this out and type in R crack. So R crack is the real software that will start cracking all of these files. And what you guys need to do next is actually grab a hash file. So let me become sudo and group plus. Wow, I just told you my password. Well, it doesn't matter, it's obvious. So uh, the next thing what we want to do is open up our VMWares and I might have one. 
over here so this is the premium beer that we have already exploited if you don't remember how just check out my other video tutorials a link will be in the video description down below and type in msf console i'm just gonna use multi handler and use multi slash handler and just type in exploit and hit enter this would get us a reverse shell on that machine and this should get me a reverse shell fairly quickly or i'd be very embarrassed come on yep all right so uh what do we have to do yes hash dump hit enter so this is the hash dump that we have got now guys if you are not getting a hash dump uh what you guys have to do is type in migrate and uh, uh migrate your process to some other process so let's just assume that uh, my process is 600 and just uh, migrate your 600 process that is your payload to any other process and try that so just uh there's that and so these are the hashes that we have got so anything after these first uh, colons is the hash and uh, these last co excuse me these last colons don't mean anything so uh, this is the administrator password and uh, this is the lm hash that windows, windows doesn't use anymore and this is the what do you say okay i forgot <laughs> uh, the NTL, ntlm hash and let me just clear this out but we have created i suppose md5 hash right so i'm just gonna go and grab an md5 hash so md5 wait a second guys wait a second i am trying to find my hash on uh, my other Just a sec. And there it is. <clears throat> All right, so this is the hash that we have and let me just clear this out and type in oh sorry r crack and hit enter so these are all the options i have a single hash so i'm just gonna use r crack dash h if you have multiple hashes just type in l and the name of the file and uh, then we have to type in the rainbow tables so all right i didn't delete that i forgot so md5 oh god i have to type that all over again lower alpha numeric five thirty eight hundred where is it uh double three double five forty four thirty two underscore zero dot rt and hit enter and what was that wait what what really happened over here All right, just wait up. All right, <laughs> what I did was I didn't put in the hash itself. So let's just hit enter and what? Okay, maybe this might be the problem. Dash H, hit enter can't open md5 <laughs> come on all right guys <laughs> i have paused this video and i am doing this again so let's do that one more time so this is the hash that we have grabbed uh this is the command so r crack and this is our wait uh this is our uh, rainbow table and dash h for single hash if you guys have multiple hashes just type in dash l <laughs> not l dash l dash l and hit enter so this should crack the password and there you go <laughs> uh, not very creative hash from my side and the hash the answer those 
word uh, hast was uh, the word good so let's just clear this out and guys a pro tip from me if you guys have generated a, a particular uh, rainbow hash that uh, you personally have generated right you haven't downloaded it i would highly recommend that you guys keep a backup of it i don't care if it's alphanumeric or this uh, some generic uh, password but i would recommend that you guys keep a backup of it because it would uh, always help you out in the future uh, i have seen this a lot sometimes i have deleted it because you know i'm never going to use it but uh, i ended up uh, needing it so you guys don't want that and want to uh, you guys don't want to commit the same mistake as me so that's it for today's video guys i am really again sorry for not uploading and uh, if you like this video hit that like button if you dislike this video you know what to do if you have any questions get down in the comments down below and we will discuss things i will be trying and keeping more active in this week you guys will get your uh, daily uploads or uh, daily upload in two days so thank you guys for watching this was paxi and i'll hope i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial paxi signing out